Hi right, guys, welcome to part two of the brushless conversion and power supply upgrade change um, central power supply distribution unit. All right, so I've printed out. The, I think I showed this in a later video. I printed out the new 55 millimeter uh, spindle mount there. So it's actually an extended spindle mount, which actually adds more uh, linear bearings right here to distribute the load better, so you have less wobble. I'm in a video about it, so you don't have so much uh, play back and forth this way. All right, so I got that going. Electronics box. So now I gotta take this one off, this other spindle. Take this top part off so I can add the bearings and slide it down. Yeah, I take the whole top part off and this just comes right out. And as you can see, I have some snap rings in there, some bearings. So, I mean, these are pretty much identical. My new piece and the uh, the other piece, but what I had to do is I had to open it up. I'm gonna, uh, all this will be my Thingiverse page where you can see how this is bigger here. Plus, I had to actually, I mean, it's pretty tight here in the holes, but I had to make it a little bit bigger here so it would clear the actual, like the fan on the brushless. It has the same sort of fan that's actually larger than the diameter of the, uh, the motor itself. All right, so I'm gonna get that on there. I'm gonna swap over the uh, bearings, snap rings. All right, got the snap rings in place. Um, so I print this out in 100% infill. So that means it's 100% plastic. There's no crisscross on the inside. It's not hollow on the inside. Um, like with CNC, weight is your friend. You know, the more weight, the better, especially on the access. You're gonna have less chatter, but you know, with 3D printers, it's like the opposite. You know, you want less weight. Uh, because actually more weight actually creates ghosting artifacts. All right, so that should just go down like that. Yeah. Get new spindle, bolt it on. So what that does is, like I said, you, since you have a whole different layer, like this thing came with, you know, some linear bearings down here, but by adding two more on the top, it distributes the load, this directional load like this. I can't remember what I if I said this was uh, 400 watt or 500 watt, but it's actually 500 watt, and that is actually two 200 watt. So this is actually one that comes with the higher end. 3018, um, but like I said, I'm also graining uh, rigidity here. I'm going from an ER11 to an ER16. All right, so I shrink wrapped all the wires, and I'm starting to debate if this is actually a good idea or a bad idea because if I, in case I have to troubleshoot a wire, it's gonna make it more difficult. If I got like a, a broken wire, so um, I don't know. I think I'll keep it on there, but. Yeah, I guess that could be uh, CNC. So I just took out the woodpecker board, it was right here. But then I had created like a power distribution unit for the lights and the uh, air, my air control system. Pneumatic, uh, it's a pneumatic control valve right there. Um, probably won't gonna be using that anymore with the with the aquarium uh, bubbler, the, you know, the uh, compressor. But now you'll see like this is designed to go back like that. I meant like there. So my whole power containment system. Uh, and the control box, the um, control box, um, this will be gone, that power distribution unit. And I designed the control box to go down in there. So it's going to be a tight fit getting all the stuff in there, but got a lot of stuff going on there. So I got to fish down this, uh, this wire here. I got to take out the old uh, spindle motor. All right, so when I designed this thing, the mount, I created all the zip tie things. Um, if you're new to my channel, I'm actually an IT guy and a cabling contractor, so I, I build data centers. So I half my day is actually wiring, so I can get kind of definitely OCD about wiring, <laughs> hiding wires, and just making everything look clean and tight and presentable. All right, wires are fished down. I'm gonna feed down to my box. It's gonna go right here. This is the uh, Z probe. So I'm gonna go fish. It's gonna fish down into the MKS box. I'm gonna clean up all these wires. Dial in. All right. Um, all right. So this is the end of this video. Be back. I gotta 3D print the rest of the stuff. Um, uh, I've already designed most of the stuff, so it's gotta print out the rest of the stuff and uh, get it finished. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, yeah, I mean, that'd be cool if I could cut some steel. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, cool.